everybody. Uh, yeah, today I am in Feed the Beast. Uh, yeah, these, um, yeah, uh, this is a new type of video. I'm not sure if I've ever seen it before on YouTube or anything, or but I'm calling it a check in video, or just like every week or so, I put out a video. Um, yeah, so this is Feed the Beast. And yes, yeah, so I'll let this play as a check in. So I'm going to sh be showing you what I've been building the past week or s weeks. So, and then I wanted to get a few basic, maybe maybe not basic structures going, but I wanted to get a few structures going before I did start doing this. So, yep. Uh, I'll meet you back there and uh, see you then. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so, this is my base of operations at the moment, this small area. Um, it is actually pretty big. I got Netherward Farm, uh, a Blast Furnace, a uh, Coke Oven, an Iron Tank, with a whole bunch of creosote oil, and a I got some animals. Um, yeah, a lot of creosote oil. I got some farms. This was not really sure what I'm ever going to do with this. It's just like a hole in the ground. Or a second hole in the ground, actually. Uh, <clears throat> and then I got some farms and stuff. So, before I show you that stuff over there, um, I'm going to start with my base of operations. And I'm not actually... Fl I am flying, but I have a jetpack. I'm not in creative or anything. Uh, yeah. So, got a jetpack. Electric jetpack. And long fall boots, which remove all fall damage whatsoever. And I'm not getting that money money uh, frames per second here at the moment. So, um, in fact, before I show you this, I will show you something else. My iron golem farm, because I gotta kill all these iron golems, because I'm getting such a low frame rate right now. And if I re so yeah, it's gonna be a long time to build, about two days. And if I didn't have an electric chat pack and rubber boots, which also remove fall damage, but uh, degrade after some time, I would be dead multiple times. Because, well, yeah, this is. And you shouldn't be taking this long to be killed. Um. Okay, so okay, uh, this is about the amount of iron I get from every, every time I kill them. It's just like villager spawning systems. Iron golems pass through here and get burned and stuff. So, yeah. Then I guess I'll show you this. This is my main wheat farm. It produces bread and uh, compost, which I'll be sending to a hummus or humus factory t for a tree farm I'll be making pretty soon, probably in this week. Um, yeah, it produces a lot. And it co it's totally a green system. It runs completely off. An ultimate hybrid solar panel. It's gonna be a long time to make. Or not actually that long, about half an hour or so. Now I'll show you my base of operations here, where I start off. <clears throat> and if you notice how there's like, it's not re doesn't really look that good. It's because when I started off, I didn't have this cobblestone wall or this cobblestone wall here. I just had a hole, and there was a bunch of creepers and stuff. The glass was originally to see around, but I still managed. They still managed to blow up, so I just built that cobblestone wall. Yeah, so I've been doing a lot of my work down here. Um, I have a project table instead of the um, crafting table, slag furnace, regular furnace, a bunch of chests, including a diamond one, and then I have a bunch of machines. The blast furnace here, I didn't realize, or industrial blast furnace, I didn't realize uh, I had to build it with a whole machine behind it. I might just build, still build it behind it, but 
more hidden and stuff. Then I have a singularity compressor, um, a rotary ma macerator, um, induction furnace, geothermal generator, bat box, um, and then cent industrial centrifuge. I'm still getting pretty low frames per second, but uh, yeah. I got a rolling machine, thermonic, momic fabricator, and carpenter, I, uh, armor holder, anvil, creosote oil. This is before I got the iron tank, and I still so been too lazy to move it out. Uh, yeah, I've been doing some work with Thom not, Thomacraft, so I have a cauldron, enchantment table, uh, I'll show you like research and stuff. That's just a hole. I got more another chest. It's like my farm chest. And um yeah. A shelf for tools and stuff. And then a jukebox, which so you should yeah. Um yeah. I have uh somewhere in here I have some diamonds. I think yeah, I should. Here you go, twelve diamonds stuff. Yeah, a lot. I'm yeah, a lot of machines and stuff. Um, uh, these check-in videos are only gonna be like ten minutes or so, cause I got really nothing else to do. Um. Oh, yeah. And now let me talk about future of these videos. I am planning on making a factory, like kind of like like. Or maybe like Sipsco or Honeydew Inc. from Yogg's Cast or Etho Corp. from Etho's Lab or something like that. But really like green and stuff. So I'm going to make a giant tree and have like that thing with machines inside, roots going to all these different buildings and stuff. This crane I just built for decoration. but And then gonna go, go straight down into the quarry and yeah there's a bunch of lava that I gotta get rid of and stuff but and it's almost dark too so gonna end this video pretty soon uh, and my quarry set up coke coal I've been running it completely off coke coal cause that works better than coal and stuff so yeah this crane is basically just iron Scaffolding, stone and wood and glass and metal posts or fences. Um, yeah, uh, I have been getting a lot of cobblestone. I built that out of all the cobblestone I've gotten from this. Uh, just a lot of machine materials. Um. Oh yeah, eventually at one point I dug into an abandoned mine shaft. We got rails I still haven't moved out. Yeah. Um so yeah. Oh and a pig man came through the portal here. So I decided until I could get like a soul shard or something to get his soul in a way or something, I would <coughs> Get, I would just keep him in here. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, but yeah, more on Hydrocorp. Uh, yeah, a large scale tree. Next week I might have a drawing or something, and I'll put it in. Just like what it'll be like, but oh, that. Yeah. There's a iron golem going through the lava and into the killing cell, I guess. Yeah. I'm gonna have to try to have a few more farms up. Um Yeah. Oh I am working on also getting a god sword. This is Heartbreaker. Uh, I named it Heartbreaker because it's red, so it's kinda like a heart and it's kinda a sword for 
killing and stuff. Right now it only has sharpness too, but eventually this will be a god sword. Um, and then the rock motor again because it's red and it's for breaking rocks. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, tw uh, okay. This area is very laggy because my frame rate just dropped to from 20 to 11 right now. So, one last thing. Um, where is it? Yeah, the Thomas Thomasomicon. This is a lot. What I need to. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, okay. This is gonna take a minute. I'll sh let me show you how much iron I have gotten from macerating iron ore and my iron golem farm. 26, uh, 1,678 iron ingots. Not to mention any I may have in these chests and stuff. Uh, um, finally, the Thaumonomicon. This is like all this research I've done. Um... I'm still trying to research some of this stuff, but I researched a lot, and yeah, kind of got bored with researching after a while, so just took a break, and haven't really got back to that much. Um, yeah. Oh, I've already started researching something. Just, you know, hey, roses. Hmm? Yeah, I get a lot of roses from the Iron Golem farm, too. Uh, so, yeah. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>